Okay, after our first stab at um, function templates, let's look at something a bit more useful than adding two numbers together. Again, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just get rid of um, we'll just get rid of this stuff here uh, because we don't need any of this stuff. Let, let's start again completely from scratch. So we're going to build um, something which is going to be a bubble sort for vectors. Now, later on, once we get to the full standard template library, you're going to see there's going to be hash maps, iterators, vectors, arrays, all sorts of complicated ways of storing uh, different bits of data in a sequence. So far, we've only really used arrays um, in the lesson so far, but I do assure you later on, there are many, many, many different ways of storing um, uh, data in this serial kind of way, generally, typically known as a vector. Now, uh, an array is, is the standard kind of vector, but there are many other more complicated ones. Now, as in the last lesson, if we write a complicated program that takes in a vector, we might be wanting to sort a vector. Do we want to just copy that, that, copy that code 27 times and paste it out 27 times with 27 different types of vector just because there are 27 different kinds of vector? Or do we just want to write it once? Well, the beauty of C++ as opposed to something like C, is that we can just write it once. So instead of uh, writing and uh, deciding, you know, kind of what kind of array we want, we can just do something like this. So template, as in the last lesson, class. Now I'm you typically see T, but you know, I'm going to call it something that means something to me. I'm going to call it bubble. So it's slightly meaningless, but it does tell me what it's kind of doing. So I'm going to write a function. It's going to be called bubble sort. It's going to take a pointer to a bubble thing. Now that bubble thing will be replaced by whatever kind of vector it is that we call this subroutine with. So if I send an array in here, it will be an array pointer. If I send in a, an iterator a thing vector, it will be an iterator pointer. It will bubble will basically be replaced by whatever comes in. So I'm going to call this variable vector because it's going to be some kind of vector that comes in. In the program below we'll just use a straightforward array. And there will be an int as well because we're going to say the number of things we need to sort. Now I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm not even going to explain this. So hopefully you can kind of work this out later for yourselves. So we're going to send in a, an array or a vector and the number of elements in the array. And then we're just going to do this this kind of standard kind of bubble sort operation on it. Uh, you can work this out for homework later. What I'm doing here, hopefully I'll get it right. Of course, I might get it wrong. You'll probably spot it if I get it wrong. Uh, just a quick thing there. We're doing minus. Um, oh, it's just just a standard way of doing uh, bubble sorts. So let's if. Vector, which has been declared as a bubble point or whatever that is in the template. So if one thing in this a vector array is uh, greater than the next thing along, then swap the two of them around. Now here's a new function for you. You kind of get this one for free, which is quite nice. Uh, what's next? So we swap these two things around. Remember, vector is a pointer, so that's very handy to us. Right, hopefully that should work as a bubble. So we'll find out in a few minutes. Now, what we'd also like to do is we'd also like to um, to print out an array before and after. So let's get to the main program. Um, and we'll just make this nice and simple. So we'll have an integer array. It's going to be five in size. So let's just put five things in there. Actually, mine's no good. So oops, I did two, and then we'll put. Um, numbers there. Now we'll do we'll call the bubble sort. You can see it's got bubble vector there because it knows it's going to be a template thing. 
it is going to be an integer array, but that's um, that, that will be worked out later. So, so we'll put the array in there. Array of ints. There's going to be five elements in the array. Fantastic. That's the end of the program. Now the problem with that is that you know it's great, it's worked, but but what's happened? We don't know. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to print out that array before we sort it. Just a sanity check that it is in this order. And then we'd like to print it out afterwards too, just to make sure it has been sorted. So has it been sorted out um, afterwards? Also, we haven't declared the variable, the subroutine yet. Now we could write a, a normal subroutine, which would take an array, as, as in there, but again, these vectors in the future, once we get to the standard template library, could be all sorts of strange things, which aren't arrays, but which are vectors. So we're going to need to do another template class. So let's write another one out. Template class. I'm going to call this printer. You might see it written as U or T or something else. I'm going to give it something which to me has a bit of meaning. Print out uh, vector. I'm going to call it vector or vect. Vect. And again, this is just a placeholder and it will stick in whatever vector pointer is required in the future, no matter what comes in, whether it's an array or an iterator or a hash map or, or anything else. Just as in the last lesson. And just need to do what we need to do here. Now it's gonna be very similar to this for loop here. So let me just nab that. And we'll just print out the vector, which is you know type print out star, whatever print out is, and that should do that. And then we just need a new line at the end. So we'll print out the whole array with space in between each element, and then stick an end line at the end. So all these errors have gone from down here. Hopefully this should work. Um, oh, has it? Look at that! Isn't that nice? So we start off with a we start off with a jumbled. Why is it not printing out the first one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that needs to be zero, doesn't it? That's better. So we start off with 23, 66, 5, 72, 69 in creation order. And then we rearrange into numerical order. And the beauty of these two functions is they're both templates and it doesn't matter what kind of vector comes in. Both of these subroutines will be able to deal with it. Okay, so there's a, there's a quick bubble sort um, for any kind of vector that you like. See you next time.